Okay, um, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this entire video just like this, but we'll see. Um, the thing is, do you know there's a part of me that almost admires the Karens? Oh, I was watching a reaction video a couple of days ago. Um, Karens of 2023. You know, and no, they haven't changed and no, they're not going to. But what is interesting is it kind of reminded me how materialistic this world has gotten. You know, what is it that we do day in, day out? I mean, it doesn't matter if you're watching TV, if you're watching something on your, on your phone, if you've got your laptop, it doesn't matter. When you sign into any of these, do you know what it's, you know, it does it to all of us. Sign into a whole new laptop, sign into your phone, you know, especially if you get a new one. And it always tells you, it always asks you if it wants your adverts tailored for you. Do you ever notice that the second you buy anything online, all those adverts are tailored specifically to help you buy more stuff online? Yeah. You know, people are extremely materialistic because the world has programmed us to be extremely materialistic. And I don't think anybody can really sit here and say, I'm not materialistic, that's not who I am. You suck. Yeah, you know, but take a look at your adverts that you get. Take a look at all the things that you buy and how often you do it. And then tell me that you're not even a little bit materialistic. Now, I have always classed myself as a bit of a minimalist. But there are things that I absolutely love. And I do keep buying. And I will keep replacing. And I will make sure I have spares of. Because I love it. You know, and because of certain health issues that we have in this house, there are things that I have to buy to make sure that we stay healthy. You know, and so there are repeat things that I have to buy <laughs> in here out. You know, and then of course, you know, we have to buy new clothes when we need them, new shoes when we need them. But there are people, and I don't know about most people, but I don't like a lot of things around me. But we're planning a move and I'm trying to get the place sorted. And as I'm doing that, I'm realising I had one more stuff than I thought I did. And two, that um, it's far more cluttered than I thought it was. You know, um, and although some of it I can get rid of, some of it I can't. You know, see, and we all sit there and we go, but I'm not materialistic, that's not who I am. I'm not materialistic. I don't care about the finer things in life. I don't care about expensive perfumes and jewellery and expensive clothes and shoes. And I don't care about having the latest gadgets. I don't care about having the latest whatever's there, there and everything. And see, but that's what people class as being materialistic. Those that have to have the latest of everything all the time. Those that have to have designer clothes, designer this, this, this and that, whatever. Materialism goes way deeper than that. Because materialism is about things in general. You know. There are things in my house that make my house look extremely cluttered. 
and there are things again that I buy in bulk that would class me as materialistic they're not name brands they're not the most expensive ones they're not the most expensive anything they're not like whatever but I buy a lot of them therefore it makes me slightly materialistic you know it just does because they're not really necessary to my everyday survival and if it's not necessary to your everyday survival if you don't need it to survive if it's not food or water or juice or something that you need desperately to survive then you are materialistic to a point what the Karens do is they extenuate that by showing the world what it means to be in competition with the rest of the world and be extremely materialistic because they feel like they are owed something like the world should give it to them regardless of the fact that they probably don't deserve it anyway or they haven't really prayed for it or their behaviour doesn't warrant the fact that actually if they carried on like that they, they're going to be arrested you know or for whatever reason they can't have a refund for whatever it is they're trying to bring back their, their entitlement or their sense of self is out of whack but they feel that the world owes them something that their behaviour means that they should get what they want and on top of that all they're doing is showing the world what it really means to be in competition with the rest of the world and only those people that feel like they have to be in competition with the world those that need the most expensive brands the most expensive jewelry the most expensive perfumes go to the most expensive hair salons in the most expensive clothing shops whether you're male or female you, you all do it mm, yeah we do you know there's some real male materialists out there who are really think they're something by dressing in all the famous name brands and with all the bling and the going to the best barbers that cost him like hundreds of hundreds to get his hair cut you know, even men do it. They go and get themselves pampered. They go to the beauty salons and go and get their face masks and their, you know, manicures and their pedicures. You know, and there's nothing wrong with any of that. It's when you do it to excess and think that that's okay. You know, I've got to have this done every week or else. I've got to go and get a new pair of chump jeans and a new top every other day or else I've got nothing to wear. You know, if I can't wear a brand new top every day, I've got nothing to wear. Okay. You know, it's those kind of people. I need new clothes or I have nothing. You know, I must get my hair and my nails done every day or else I'm, I look a mess. I must have the most expensive shoes on my feet to walk outside in the mud and the puddles and the rain and the sleet and the snow. Yeah, okay, go for it. <laughs> you know, they're what we class as materialists. But the reality is they're just extremists. They're the ones in competition. They're the ones that feel the need to impress the whole world with who they are and what they look like and what they've got. They must have a kitchen and a living room and a dining room and a bedroom that's got the most expensive furniture in it, the most expensive kettle that you can buy and the most expensive duvet set for the most expensive bed and the most expensive sofa 
with the most expensive TV in it, you know, because if they don't, they can't impress people and they need to impress people. So when we talk as materialists, those are the materialistic people. That's what we class as being materialistic when we talk about it. We talk materialistic and we're talking of people like that, but it's not right. They're just extremists. They are the extremists. They're the ones in competition with the whole world, the whole world. They need to impress everybody. You know, that's what they need to do. They, they feel the need to impress the whole world. They are the extreme materialists. But in our own way, whether we are buying the cheapest items on the fucking planet, if we are, if we do not need them to survive, if we are, if, if we don't need that specific item to live on, if it's not necessary to our survival and we just want it, and we don't just want it, we need lots of it because we like it and it's fun for us and it's our thing and every time a new one comes along we go oh yeah it'd be really nice to have that one and we all justify it as a collection or a hobby or whatever but it's still a materialistic thing it's still materialism because the only way it's not being materialistic is if we have nothing you know absolutely nothing so even if your whole life is books every time you buy new books it makes you materialist if you've got a whole room just for books and then you buy more books you're still materialist because you're buying things that are unnecessary to your survival but you love and you want i want it i love it i'm going to have it it's unnecessary you don't need it to survive but you want it you like it so you buy it and you buy lots of it makes you materialistic in a way so yeah those that need to impress the world those that feel like if they don't have the most expensive items the most expensive brands the most expensive designer gear and the most expensive everything to show the world how incredible and they are, how much money they've got. They feel the need to show off. They are the extremists. They are extreme materialists, not just materialistic. They are the extremists. They're the ones that can't survive without designers and expensive stuff because they, they're extreme in their, they're, they're just extreme. It, it's just a way that they are. You know, we all have the ability to be materialistic, but they take it to the extreme because they have to show off. They have to, uh, they have to be what they're buying. You know, it's more than just, I like it, I want it, I'm buying it. Okay, we're going to put it over there now. And we'll get it out every once in a while. It's, I am this. They've embodied everything they're buying. You know, they've become it. You know. And although there's nothing wrong with these people, it is extreme. It's extreme materialism at its best. And the Karens... The Karens want to be extreme materialists. They just can't be extreme materialists. It's the one thing I've noticed. They are materialists that are desperate to be the extreme materialists and just can't quite get there. And they're upset about it. it does seem to be what they're doing. Um, I've never liked the fact that they use the whole I'm a Christian thing, though. That one. That one bugs me. But, uh, yeah, the whole religion thing. Might have to do a whole thing on different religions and their holidays and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go.